All right, let's head over here. Most of the plants here will be winter interest plants. The um, daylilies will die back, of course. Sedums will stay. So this is mainly my winter interest um, garden. Of course, the lemongrass will go. And the, the grasses here will stay during the winter for the most part, if it doesn't get too cold. These are the pink muley grass, and I'm so looking forward to seeing them bloom because they were just small babies last year. This is an area that I don't really discuss much. We lost that tree as well, and I see little saplings or babies coming up as well, so we'll have to grind that too. I think I do want to grind that one up for sure. And looking forward to seeing these um, camellias bloom. These are the pink perflections um, camellia sasanqua. So I'm leaving the pathway um, alone and there's a pathway right there. There's going to be another pathway running through that way. And then there's one right here. But um, I'm still working on deciding what plants to plant here. I'm on this side now. I always feel so claustrophobic filming from that way. So I'm still deciding what tree to put, but I think I'm leaning towards having Japanese maples um, added in. So every um, window that we're looking from, from inside house, it will be a Japanese maple. So I think I might go with a Japanese maple here. Um, but at the same time, I don't know if the Japanese maple would look good with the um, camellia over here. So I am not sure. So those are some things that um, I think about. These um, camellias can do more full sun, but I think they should still be able to do um, good in part sun. So with the Japanese maple um, being there, I think, um, you know, it doesn't give like full, full shade with the Japanese maple. So it, it might still do um, pretty good with having a Japanese maple there. So this is still work in progress. Um, still developing um, plants over here. But what I love about this is that um, I have grasses over here. I call them grasses. So this is blue fescue, and then that's Everillo um, carex. And I just love them together over here. So I don't know if um, this will stay but it's in the blue family. So I was going with the blue theme and the yellow theme over here. Same thing with that side, just mirroring this part over here. And let's see, this that area I will leave bare because we want access um, of the tractor over here. So we want the tractor to be able to come in here if um, need be, so I need to keep that space clear as well. So if you're wondering why I don't have plants here, that's, reason, that's the reason why. I might just end up putting container plants here. That would probably be a good idea to make um, this space not look so bare. All right, another area that I don't talk about is this whole, basically the foundation plants, I because I just don't, uh, there's not a lot of plants I want to plant here and it seems like the azaleas do good because they have shallow rootings and to me is they don't really um, because of that with shallow rooting plants they don't bother the foundation or injure or damage the foundation so I just um, decided to just keep the um, azalea theme going so these t these right here were original to the house I added these three right here, and then three more on the other side of the um, AC unit. And I don't like to film this as well because I don't like the foundation color over there. That's what happens when you have clay soil. It stains the foundation. 
Um, I would like to paint it eventually, but I just haven't, you know, got a chance to it. And then, of course, our AC unit is really old, is really loud. I don't like it because of that. Otherwise, it runs um, beautifully still. So anyway, um, I would like to move one of the azalea over here, preferably the one in the middle, and put it somewhere else. And these, as you um, remember, I pruned these back hard um, this past winter and it's bounced back really well. So let's just give you an overview of this space. And of course here we have all the irises, um, iris and sada. Um, they give a beautiful show in the, I think, late spring. I should know when they bloom, I think in May. So, so far, um, I like uh, this space. I just don't like to cut, <laughs> to prune them back um, later on. But otherwise, um, they kind of fill up this space. So this space is pretty much like dry shade. So I have some azaleas over there. So other than adding a few more plants, I like um, this space like that and maybe adding some ground cover um, eventually. But um, I like it. I'm kind of peaceful looking over here. But um, as you know with gardening, it could change. But right now, whenever I'm here, whenever I'm over there somewhere else, it doesn't look as peaceful when you come when you look up this way, but when you do step in, you do feel like a sense of um, peacefulness over here, and that's what I like. And then I got some ferns over here. These are autumn, um, autumn ferns, and they are evergreen here, so they'll still look um, beautiful for the most part if we don't get like a harsh winter, they'll still be beautiful. I have another azalea right there. Um, this area I've shown you uh, many times so I like to add some more plants here and then also maybe this general area as well but for now um, I like it the way it is. Mostly just doing some weedings for the most part. All right, and we're coming to the area that I rarely talk about, very rarely talk, very rarely talk about, is this area right here. So this is the um, Edgeworthia, and this is the one that I uh, moved, I believe it was late um, winter or early spring, and it's doing beautifully. This is the area, I don't know what's going on. I don't know who did that because my son has not been here um, for a while now. So I don't know if we had some, we had some armadillos that were messing around digging holes. So that could be them. Anyway, this, this area right here, I can never plant anything. This is my third plant that went in there that um, this one died. The other two did not. I moved them somewhere else. I had an Elysium over here, Florida Elysium, and it died. So the funniest thing is I don't feel too bad about it because um, I did not like the smell of it. I do like the of the blooms, that is. I do like um, the smell. I did like the smell of the foliage. All right. This one is a, Japan, is a magnolia. I don't think it's a Japanese magnolia. I don't think it was labeled like that, um, but I'm calling it a Japanese magnolia. But anyway, this one blooms um, yellow flowers, and for some reason, this space has sunk down, I think because some of the um, trees died. So it's sunk down, and I need to move the root, um, the crown of it, move it up, so it's sinking or it's been sinking all this time. I did not realize it until um, this season, maybe about, uh, I don't know, a few months ago. And 
oh, that's going to be a chore to do. So, and that's, and I think that's the reason why it hasn't um, taken off. So it always looks stumpy. But of course I did remove the leader at some point, but it would, I would expect it to still branch out. So I'm gonna um, lift it up and see what happens. Here is another um, plant. I think this is called Sweet Spire um, that I bought at the, um, at the native plant sale. So I think it's got eaten or something because it was growing beautifully and now it's not. So anyway, this area is an area that I will eventually develop, but not for a while. Right now I just have um, these lining up right here and we want to be able to access a vehicle through here. Overview of what this area looks like from up here. All right, I think that is it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed um, this video and you're able to see um, some of the areas um, that you may have not um, seen me discuss in detail. And hopefully now you know the reasons why um, I haven't really um, talked about them in detail. So anyway, um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and enjoyable. And until my next video, take care and bye for now. Thanks so much for watching this video, folks. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Ring that notification bell that way you don't miss on anything.